All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, April 16th. We got some play-in tournament basketball to discuss today. Um, we're going to do a different video for each of the games. So for this video, we're going to be looking at the Pelicans taking on the Lakers. Um, I have my spread lean, my total lean, as well as a few player prop leans as well. But keep an eye on the pinned comment to see what we ultimately end up rolling with. All my final plays will be in there. If you do want to fade me, we'll have a separate video for the Kings and the Warriors game as well. So make sure to check that out. And we'll have our normal MLB video. So a lot of content coming your way today. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. Uh, recapping the regular season. I mean, I'm in, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. We're up 60, almost 64 units. I'm pumping some down, damn crowd noise for myself. Our best NBA season here on YouTube to date before that was like 28 units, um, including playoffs. But 64 units is like I'm not that good of a sports better. You know what I mean? So there's definitely some luck along the way. But we absolutely smoked player props this year with plus money, almost 36 units wise in the player prop field. And uh, yeah, you know what? One more soundboard sound there. Can't believe that. 64 units. You love to see it. Hopefully, we can carry some of that momentum into the playoffs. Guys, go ahead and use that hashtag ride of the day in the comments. I'm going to be jumping on board with one person's pick. I'm going to pick one from um, either this video or the other game's video. So we'll only have one ride of the day today. But if you don't know what that is, you use that hashtag ride of the day. Give me your best play of the day. I'm going to be jumping on board with one person's pick and giving you a shout out in the next video, win or loss. If you win, we continue to ride with your pick. So drop those hashtag ride of the day in the comments and uh yeah let's get jumping into this game so i do think and i guess we don't have to waste too much time talking about it i think this is going to be a good game it's not that surprising i mean we have the seven seed and the eight seed playing uh if you don't know how this play in works the winner of this game does move into the playoffs the loser then gets a second chance and plays the winner of the kings and warriors game so this isn't a winner go home or excuse me loser go home uh spot for either one of these teams right now but it is, in fact, a uh, you know win and advance type spot. So don't be don't 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 be thinking these guys are gonna be thinking they're like ah oh, you know we got a little safety net. No no no, they're gonna go balls to the wall in this one here. And obviously, odds makers think this is gonna be a very good game. The spread opened up at Pelicans minus one. It's moved to Pelicans plus one now. The total sitting at two twenty three and a half here as well. So we have a good game on our hands, um, and that total is something that I definitely uh, you know want to target in this spot uh but we'll get to that in a second i'm gonna start with my spread pick and it's gonna be one that it almost pains me to even take as a celtics fan i think i'm gonna look at the lakers here um in terms of how these teams have matched up lakers this season uh took three of the four meetings they covered in three of the four as well they were all very close uh lines and i think the one that the pelicans won um in fact i can pull it up right here i think the one that the pelicans won um no anthony davis and lebron played so okay there's a there's a little uh, point to the the pelican side of things but they're five and a half point favorites during that the other games were 133 89 lakers 139 122 lakers and then 124 108 lakers Lakers um, and they played two in LA and two in New, uh, New Orleans so this is a Lakers team that clearly has the Pelicans number and I think I have to trust that they're a way faster team finishing the season um, or at least the last 10 games of the season as the number one pace team uh, playing really good in transition almost a 60% transition uh, field goal percentage on offense now the thing that you know could make you feel okay about uh, taking the Pelicans here is the fact that they're the better defensive team. No kidding, right? Um, and their defense in transition isn't all that bad. But uh, I just have to trust that this, these two teams are so fired up that you know pace is going to matter in this game, and the Lakers certainly certainly win the pace battle. So I'm leaning towards the Lakers here, um, minus the one. It's essentially a pick em here in this spot. And then, like I said, in terms of total, definitely something we're targeting. I think I'm going to like the uh, the over. And you guys will rarely see me, if you've been watching for years now, rarely see me truly pull the trigger uh, on an, on a playoff over because I'm one of those old school minds, I guess. It's like, oh, playoffs breed better defense and blah, blah, blah. I do think they, you know, that's that's true. But the Lakers, again, last 10 games, number one pace team in the league. I don't want to say by far, but, uh, you know, definitely uh, the, the number one pace team, I, I believe, by like one and a half possessions over uh, Washington to close it out. So this is definitely a team that, you know, the way that they want to play is playing fast and if they start doing that we've seen the pelicans not be able to kind of come back from that uh in the past year especially to close out the year uh think of the pelicans or i think of the pelicans like a really good run team 
in football. Uh, if you go down early or go down big in the game, it's really hard for your offense to kind of come back and chase from behind, right? The Pelicans get a lead and they're playing good defense. Yeah, they might be able to pull this one off because of the fact that they're slowing it down and there goes the Lakers' advantage of pace, right? Um, but to me, this is just a spot in which um, the Lakers should be able to run on them. And again, they match up very well against them. Uh, one thing I will say, too, is a, a big thing that the Pelicans should have had an advantage in uh, is their you know rim defense and, and points in the paint allowed. But to be honest, last 10 games of the year, that sort of slacked, and the Lakers took that over. So catch this. For the whole season, Pelicans' fifth best team at defending the rim, right? Or at least defending points in the paint. Lakers, 21st. Okay, so you're like, all right big discrepancy right last three games to close out the year and obviously some of these games uh you know we have to take into account guys weren't playing or injuries whatever it is but last three games here lakers third best team at preventing points in the paint pelicans fifth worst team and the lakers second best team throughout the entire season at scoring in the paint so i don't think lebron or anthony davis are gonna have any trouble with valanchunas or nance um or anyone that they really want to put down there right now, mentioning those guys' names, LeBron, Anthony Davis, they're on the injury report. Um, I know they're always on the injury report. This is a play-in game. We have to assume they're playing, but FYI, they're on the injury report, okay? Um, so that is that. So I lean towards the Lakers as well as potentially taking a peek at the over, but keep an eye on the pin comment, guys. We've had a great NBA season. We don't have to, you know, get so excited for the play-in or playoffs that we blow our load all at once. Like, we can we can chill, and we can be conservative and really precise on what we play, right? And there's another game tonight. So don't expect, you know, we're going to look at a few player props here in a second. Don't expect all of these plays. Maybe they will. I'm, I've done crazier things, but maybe they will. But don't expect all of these plays uh, to be final plays. And whatnot. That's just what I'm liking in the game as of right now and what I am leaning towards but before we do get into the player props i want to talk to you about an absolute lock of a player prop sleeper dropping a nice little sale for us here they have a lebron james square pretty much free square 0.5 points um if you don't know what sleeper is it is a player prop app you combine two or more player props into a slip the more you win the more you get paid out i believe you can win up to 100 times over there which is absolutely crazy i'll probably post some sleeper slips over on my twitter as well as instagram all my socials will be rotating right here throughout the show um if you guys do want to follow me there but yeah if you're a new user you can get this square you also get your first deposit match so it's kind of a no-brainer. If you're looking for a fun place to play some player props during the NBA playoffs, go ahead and check out Sleeper. I'll have a link in the pinned comment of this video. Make sure to find that comment section and go ahead and check it out. But, all right, let's go ahead and dive into uh, my first player prop here. And we're going to take it on over to Outlier, guys. If you don't know what Outlier is, man. You are absolutely missing out. Uh, this is Outlier right here. One of the best player prop, I think the best player prop research app out there. Um, and we've had such success. Like, it's not a shock to me that this is our first full NBA season using Outlier. And we were up 36 units on player props alone this season. You know what I mean? Like, I don't push anything. I don't promote anything that I don't use myself. Outlier, one of my favorite partners to work with, as well as favorite tools. So go ahead and check out Outlier, guys. Link is going to be in the pinned comment. You get seven days free. After that, it's just $19.99 a month, even still. Like, that's a really manageable price for what you're getting in this tool. But... We're looking at Anthony Davis here, over two and a half assists. I know we cashed this to close out the year um, as well, but he's hit this. This is his track record against New Orleans here. He's hit this in seven of his last eight games against New Orleans. You look at his last 10 games, six of his last 10, but four straight to close out the year. Uh, this is a spot in which we can, you know, pretty much assume he's going to play a bunch of minutes, right? He averaged 35 minutes per game on the season. If we look at him on the season playing... 34 plus minutes say even 35 plus minutes right you have a near 70 percent hit rate and even against um the pelicans when he plays that many minutes he's hit this in three straight so i do think this could be a good spot the pelicans allowing the fourth most assists to the center position um and and we'll give you know joe val credit down there like anthony davis big strong guy as is valentunas so anthony davis could get down there in a few more situations than he would normally you know have and be like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot right and then he 
walks into a brick wall of Joval, maybe he kicks it out to a shooter or something like that. Um, last 10 games here, too, averaging 4.3 potential assists. If we bump it up to the minutes that he's been playing the last 10, um, here five potential assists, which we always want to see that doubled of the number. We are paying a little bit of juice, but this is a good spot over on DraftKings. I mean, FanDuel minus 150 and Caesars minus, 140, uh, minus 157. I don't hate taking that over on DraftKings there at minus 148. Another play we're looking at, and I think his minutes may be, uh, you know, we'll see actually, I should say, um, is going to be Trey Murphy here over two and a half threes. You can see he clo closed out the year really well, but uh, his minutes definitely dropped. Um, you know, this is, and, and these two teams just played, by the way, um, this Brendan Ingram coming back is definitely going to hurt him a little bit here, but I still think he's going to come in and his number one shot is going to be looking for a three. And if we look at our little dashboard here, right, um, look at where the Lakers are green like totally above the break three. That's where Trey Murphy is going to shoot from 100%. Not really 100%, but damn near uh, more than half his shots coming from three. So I do think looking at Trey Murphy over two and a half threes could be a good spot. Um, if we can get him maybe in like a, you know, to make two in some sort of a game, uh, same game parlay, that might be nice. Uh, if you're worried about Ingram, we can look at him with Brandon Ingram on the floor, right? this season um, still hit it in 53% of games last 10 without Brandon with with Brandon Ingram hit it in 70 but my concern is uh, you know without Brandon Ingram uh, this guy was absolutely nails from three right uh, without Brandon Ingram in his last 10 he hit a boatload of shots uh, on the season 57% so Brandon Ingram definitely taking some minutes from him hurts but I still don't mind the play in all honesty now, guys, that's what we're looking at for now. Actually, I do have one more. This is a slight lean because I do think that this is risky, but it's a plus 100 play, so I don't hate the uh, the plus money here. This is Herb Jones, who I don't think is going to take a lot, but Herb Jones here, um, you know, going up against the Lakers, he's hit this in three straight games, four in his last game in seven attempts, averaging five point or 4.7 uh, attempts there. So that's a little flyer. I don't know if I love it because he's not going to take a bunch. He's more of a catch-and-shoot guy and everything like that, but still a slight lean there. And, guys, those are the three. Three player props. We're real early in the morning right now that we're liking as of right now. Keep an eye on the pinned comment. If we find any value or anything like that, um, we'll throw it in the pinned comment. If I feel like it needs further explanation or something like that, I'll probably post it as an Instagram post, which go ahead and follow me on Instagram, uh, you know, YouTube short video or TikTok, that type of thing. So go ahead and uh, keep an eye on that pinned comment of this video. But that is going to wrap for today. Make sure you get those hashtag ride of the day comments in the comment section. And man, I am so pumped for playoff basketball. I'm telling you we're taking this momentum into the playoffs of what we've done this season but i will say 60 64 units up on a season is not normal like we're not i don't think we'll do that next year right unless i'm just being too humble which you know what i might be but usually i'm, I'm sitting there right around you know maybe a 30 unit uh season and i'd be really really happy about that but uh you know we got more tools at our disposal now more than ever and those player props we crush so thank you to outlier guys again go check out outlier link in the pinned comment i'll put it in the description as well but that's what we got for you guys today let me know what you're riding with and make sure to check out the other nba and we also have the mlb videos out on the channel we'll catch you guys in the next one all right peace out